digital romance TV. Welcome to Digital Romance TV. I'm Donna Barnes, and in this clip, I'm going to talk to you about how to recognize a scammer on an online dating site. And first and foremost, they will not be readily and available to meet you in person. They'll try to really drag out the either written communication or phone communication, but they probably won't video chat with you. And they'll have some circumstance usually where they're traveling and they're just not in town right now, but they're gonna be there in a week. And it gives you a reason to really start engaging with them. And then something will happen that they'll get delayed and they won't be coming back. But meanwhile, all the time, they're building this loving communication with you. And they may make you feel like you've never been loved like that in your life, but it's manipulation. Be really careful. There's a great book called The Art of Seduction, which is really all about how to be manipulative. And if you've ever looked at that book, you might be able to really recognize a little bit more when someone's manipulating you. But, um, but then the other key points about recognizing an online dater is when you look at their picture, see if you can upload it into images.google.com and search for that picture on the internet. And if you find somebody else's Facebook page attached to that picture that is not the person that they're saying that there are, it's not the right person. That's the, that show Catfish uses that site and it's really effective. And I just keep hearing so many stories recently about people that have been scammed by online scammers. And quite frankly, I, got, I met a guy that was trying to scam me too. So how it folds down is they usually tell you that they're in some sort of job that's really altruistic. You know, this guy said he was doing some charity work and, you know, was very philanthropy, you know, life of philanthropy. And it's always somebody who just, you think, oh my God, what an amazing person. This person's so good. And that's all part of the seduction. It's all part of getting you to trust them. And then something will go wrong. You'll, all of a sudden they'll, they'll be stuck somewhere and they can't get home or their business fail and they need just a temporary loan. Oh, please, can you just give me some money? And um, do not ever give money to anybody that you have not consummated a relationship with. I don't care if you've talked to them for 10 hours a day, every day for two years. If you've not physically seen this person and you're not actively intimate, it's completely out of bounds for them to ask you for money and don't ever give them money. And Africa is a big money laundering place, particularly Nigeria and some places like that. And they might even try to say to you, oh, can you help me do this transaction? I'll wire money into your account. And then could you go to Western Union or one of those kind of things and, and make the transfer for me? The second they put money in your account, if it's been obtained illegally, you can be prosecuted. You can be arrested for laundering money. So even if you're going, well, what's the scam of that? If he gives me the money and I'm going to send it, it is a scam. They're using you to protect themselves to hide the trail of money. And you can be arrested for it, even if you didn't know. So be really careful. So the takeaways, what I'm trying to say is, if you have not talked to somebody face-to-face, -face, met them in person, and they're dragging out the, the relationship and being unbelievably loving, I promise you, these people are so loving that you may feel like you've never had that kind of connection with anybody else before. But I promise you, the person that you're talking to is not the person that you think they are. And if you have that kind of loving connection with somebody, they should be dying to meet you in person. They should at least video chat with you through a webcam. So keep your feet on the ground. You know, maybe enjoy the correspondence, but do a little research. And, and here's a tip too, like the guy that was trying to scam me, I flat out said to him, you know, I, I've been Googling you, I can't find anything about you. He got really defensive. You know, a be the best defense is a good offense. So when I started to try to question who he was, he went to place, you, you said I was an honest person, I thought you thought I was honest, and started, he, he acted like I was attacking his integrity. But if someone truly has nothing to hide, they, they have no problem going, oh yeah, sure, here, this is who I am, I'll show you. So without going on too long, I think if someone seems too good to be true, they are. And if you have not met them in person and they're, they're away somewhere, they're doing some fabulous thing, they're so loving, be really suspicious. Until you meet someone in person face to face, then assume that they're not who they say they are. I hate to say that, but until you've actually met them, and even then, when you meet somebody online, you only know what they've told you of them. 
and maybe what you could Google about them, which do Google them. I highly recommend that. So be really careful about merging your life with somebody until you've vetted them a little bit and really gotten to confirm that they are who they say they are. I'm Donna Barnes for Digital Romance TV.